Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this, and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Now Moster, and this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Well, that is not what you want to see from him on the big stage, obviously. And he, he's been so reliable all season long. A big part of why they've gotten here to this game. But you have to wonder, will this haunt them later as this Super Bowl progresses? We're set on first down. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Well, you got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys. Already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Give the Colts 13 yards at a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired a bullet in there for the completion. On second and seven, Brissett, Ebron with it over the middle. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. From the 17, Brissett. It's caught by Funches. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Matt. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Here's Brissett. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation... The defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The 
49er offense set to get this drive underway. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now, look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. It was Matthew Adams who got him down on the defensive side. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jared McKinnon. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down San Francisco. The pick up 14 yards. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now the fullback, Juszczyk. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards there and a Niner first. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's Moster. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early? and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game. That's a lot to carry around. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. Let's go, baby. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post, that's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash. <laughs> Super toe. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one yard pickup sets up third and six on third down Brissett and he connects with Ebron three catches for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl it's a first down and after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. 
So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. Throwing, Brissett, short little throw to Ebron. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now Brissett. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Here's Brissett. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Brissett now 12 of 15 throwing the ball, 80% so far, and it's first and 10. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Brissett. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. DeForest Buckner, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. And he's going to go down again. It's Christian Covington who notches the sack there. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could, pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? <laughs> were they? About 15 cents. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Moster, four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight. I don't know what's disrespecting them, though. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Now, they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last run. Well, a few different oh, things that you carry man. forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is keep your defense off the field. It gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, uh, you've taken a good look yeah. at what you've done on all... No way to go here. He lost the football. What's going on? This is scooped up by the 49ers. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49ers. Touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're reaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And we take some time to spotlight T.Y. Hilton now. You would have to think they're going to make it more of a priority to get him the football. You're losing here in the second quarter, and he's been really quiet. I think all we have to do, and it's too bad we can't actually see the actual play sheet now from the coordinator, because he's looking down at that and saying, okay, 
Do I put him in different spots? Do I try and isolate him? What routes do I run? You're exactly right. They've got to get the ball in his hands and get their offense kick started. He does have the two catches, but pretty quiet so far. Going, baby. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. And I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On second down now, it's Mack. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. The bootleg. It's I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not go half halftime. All right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. Let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. On third down, Key. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to throw up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch. Oh, he shifts past him. That's spinning now. Forgive me, man. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Colts will go on offense here. First and 10. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On second down. It's Mack, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. He completes this one to Mack. No gain at all on the play there, and that brings up four. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. And it's actually been out of the backfield, handing the ball off where they've had a lot of success. So if you're the quarterback, do you just maybe say, you know, maybe this isn't my day, our running game's going so well, you just continue to lean on that? I agree. That's exactly what you do. And you have to kind of take your ego and put it aside. Because you always think your next throw is going to be your best throw, right? Your next play is going to be your best play. Lean on what's working for you right now. That should help carry your team to victory if things keep going in the direction that they are. Yeah, because the formula has in the lead currently. Now second and seven from the 23. And an alley to run. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. On second down now. Key. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He 
He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll lead here to a third down. We got back to you. This is Monster. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. He can run for it, and he will. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54. They'll run on first down. Key. And he's got this down to the 35. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. As they'll stop it with 30 seconds remaining in this first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Now a handoff here to his running back. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So these two teams will head to the locker room. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Oh, what is going and a nice on? job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Mercy. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. I was even doing that last game. They didn't let the deep ball beat him on that play, did they? they? No, the drag. That guy could be your safety oh, back. Right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. For him, Moster's carrying the whole thing. Again, they'll run it with Moster. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 38. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Let's get to that touchdown right here. Let's get at least 20, get at least 20 yards. Oh, I can actually get that. And down he oh, goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Garoppolo going to give this one to McKinnon. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A six-yard touchdown uh, run. <laughs> and the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Had you take whatever Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting oh, to pull y'all warming your hands with some fire. Room with oh, that they, one. they're in the woods. They think that their NFL hands. locker rooms are cookie cutter. That y'all are saying the exact same oh. thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast, game 
has to be in on second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Brissett. Hey, give me Trying to get it to Ebron, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Here we go. Now a handoff here to his running back. That's a first down. And he gets Thank this you, down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And again, this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Touchdown. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. A five-yard touchdown. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Had to, the boy had to get at least one touchdown this cushion. Game. Felt very military to me. Very precise, really clean, methodical that's, that's is that one of the words you've taught me. Not and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good game. for them yeah. here in the third quarter. Not yeah, only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. That time, a six-play drive, and 